That's a lot of black worms. Look at that. All live black worms and feeders. These are some of the cutest little um, figure eight puffers. I don't think I've ever seen them this little. They're the size of pea puffers, maybe even smaller. So cute. So we got this Loricaria antenna. This guy kind of looks like a, a whiptail or a farlawella, but he's got a little more frilliness, more finage, and he's pretty dang big. That is kind of a cool new fish to get in. Got these uh, green Ceylon puffers. The interesting little guys. Always fun seeing new puffers in the, in the store. So uh, in here we got some uh, electric blue gold-headed rams. Unfortunately they're all males. If they were male and female I'd definitely take home a pair and try and uh, spawn them. Maybe a couple pair. But yeah they're in here with the monos. Also got a bunch of these little flounders. That was kind of an interesting uh, addition to the tank. Now every time I get them, I end up losing them somewhere. Either that or they're still in there and I uh, just don't see them anymore. Another personal favorite of mine, the bumblebee gobies. They came in all right. A couple look a little unhealthy, but hopefully they'll get better. We've got some uh, Praycocks and Bosmani rainbows in here. Uh, looks like most of these are all Praycocks. I'm not sure if I see any Bosmanis. And then we got red Chromides and some uh, Tire Trek and Peacock Eels down here in the bottom. But the Praycocks look really nice. Almost tempted to get some. And over here we got a whole bunch of uh, metallic gold barbs some of them have uh, busted through here I don't know how they fit through but got through in here with the iridescent sharks we also have got some young Odessa barbs over here they don't they haven't seemed to have gotten their color yet but they also just came in so they might just be scared down here we got some good-sized roseline sharks uh, a bunch of coolie loaches hanging out here in the wood and um, Oh wow, there's a lot of coolies. I did not even notice all of them. Thought they were hiding somewhere. <laughs> Got a whole bunch of these little baby Fajaca puffers. Really tiny, but they'll eventually get much larger. <laughs> Mine at home was about this big when I got him and now he's probably about that big. Got a couple uh, Thai silk flower horns. They didn't come in all that great, but hopefully they'll uh, liven up a little bit. Got some uh, Tamensis bass, little baby ones. We've got a whole bunch of little baby red tail cats in. And next to it, we've got red Oscars. Definitely a pattern of Oscar you don't see every day. got a whole bunch of uh, green scats and up above we've got a green Ceylon puffer it's a pretty interesting puffer similar to green, uh, figure eight almost looks almost like a cross between the figure eight and green spotted always fun seeing new puffers in the shop so down here we've got another Ceylon puffer they're also known as Tetradon fluviatilis. Uh, they're from Southeast Asia. And they're actually, yet, yet again, another one of the uh, puffers that actually prefers brackish water. So uh, hopefully whoever picks this guy up will get him a nice brackish setup. Happy little Dabawi cats schooling together. And we got some uh, Shadowfin cats. Got a nice size little night goby over here. 
Hanging out with the baby little leopard tenopama. Tenopoma. Alright, they're all scratched up. They nice, gotta buff uh, out. Archer fish over here. They got a um, banded leperinus. Alright, keep going out of focus here. Some convicts, Honduran convicts. Here we got some uh, Julitochromis transcriptus and uh, Marlieri, along with some little stone cats. Always really cute little tiny stone catfish. And some red tail sharks and uh, rainbow sharks all piled in the corner. Here's the target fish just kind of hanging around with a bunch of Raphael cats in the corner. Frontosas, baby whale, and a Peru green severum. There's the some pictus cats, and here are those tiny little figure eight puffers. Look how cute they are. They're so tiny. Got to get in there and siphon out all that gunk that's piled up. I think uh, the vent over there kind of blew a bunch in just now. Get a better look at the Lauricaria antenna over there. Pretty cool looking fish. Got the pink chop, uh, pink tail Chalcius right here in front of it too. And African reed fish. And the Anablex above it. Four eyed fish poking its eyes up. So we got here some giant Peruvian flounders. These guys are pretty cool. About the size of the little pancakes. So we got more of these clouded archers. I ended up bringing some home like a week or two ago. They're surprisingly tame and uh, really docile and actually eat flake foods, which is not normal for when you find clouded archers. These must have been uh, bred at some farm or something or in somebody's house because yeah archers normally don't eat flakes also got some uh, red honey garamis and gold ones as well got a nice mix of metallic moscow guppies and some dumbo ear guppies with some little clown loaches in the bottom uh, something about the the contrast of these two kinds of guppies is pretty neat Got a nice mean looking red tail Brycon. Whoop. And a New Guinea tiger datinoid next to him. Got a nice looking silver tiger datinoid. Got some real nice stripes. Uh, just got in some new Exodons. These guys are vicious. We got some freshwater pipe fish. I think I'm gonna end up taking them home. They're tough to take care of though because they need live baby brine every day. But since I already hatch it for my jellyfish, I figured these guys wouldn't be too difficult. We got this cute little African leaf fish. These guys will sit still and pretend to be a leaf until something small swims by and then they pop out and chomp it down. Also got a zebra LT cat, the Brinkius Jeruenzi. Little flower horn and Ceylon puffer. And got a nice gold tiger datinoid. This guy came in looking real nice. Got some green terrors. And then some Jack Dempsey's in with some convicts. Got some black bar silver dollars in here with a flagtail Prochilotus and a big old Giardini. Got another flagtail right there next door. This guy's an Abba Abba knife. They are similar to uh, other knife fish except as you can see the 
the fins are actually, uh, the big fin is on the top instead of the bottom like most knife fish. So it kind of looks like an upside down knife. And of course, cute little baby red tail cats. Some cute little tiger shovel nose. Got a really big gold tiger datnoid. And then over here, a little silver tiger datnoid. Got a bunch of, whoa, bunch of datnoids in this week. Yeah, decent sized uh, little young leopard temapama. Just kind of hanging out there. Also, with the banjo cats, got a African butterfly. Got a silver scat that's kind of freaking out in here with some sun cats. A whole bunch of uh, gold and uh, German gold rams. Some little stifidon gobies and some electric blue and electric blue balloon rams. See the balloon one on the right and the regulars on the left. Whole bunch of really cute little stone catfish in here with uh, some judeochromis. Here are the butterfly gobies, also known as freshwater lionfish. These are just tiny babies. The adults get up to uh, about three or four inches. And we got some farlowellas in there with them. We got the American flag killies. As beautiful, colorful, and aggressive as ever. And some Pictus cats over here. Baby, little baby figure eight puffers. Some nice full bellies of worms. Got a Wilago or helicopter cat. Got a whole bunch of different shrimp in here. Some crystal reds, crystal blacks, and a whole lot of different, uh, look at all those buried Neocaridina. And then over here, a whole bunch of cherries. Some assassin snails in there with them. And then a ton of Amanos. And finally down here, the ghosts. Okay, so quick recap of what I brought home. First bag. Some pa pascas, rainbow, f red rainbow fish. Uh, they're like a neon red. They're really stressed out right now, so they're not showing it. But they're pretty awesome fish once they're happy. <laughs> and second bag, trying out these freshwater pipe fish. These guys are really cool. Pretty tough to keep normally because they only eat live foods. But since I'm always hatching baby Brian, I'm giving it a go and finally this beautiful pair of apparently breeding philippine blue angelfish they look so good i just couldn't pass them up all right many hours later than i thought i'd be going to sleep but finally got everything ready for all the new fish here's the the happy couple in their new tank. I removed all the other Philippine blues that were in here because I know when um, when they lay eggs, they tend to attack other angelfish in the tank, especially in a smaller, like 20 gallon tank or whatever like this. Though, um, I am also gonna remove this guy pretty soon, but I'm setting up a brackish tank for him because he was a rescue and I feel bad keeping him in a fresh water for the past couple weeks, but um, he will have his own brackish tank soon. 
so hopefully these guys don't decide to breed in the meantime if they do start to lay eggs I will pull him out right away though the big time consuming one was alright so I actually waited till the next morning to film these guys got them there there's another one it's down in there somewhere uh, this is obviously not their uh, permanent tank. I had to put them somewhere, so there wasn't really anything in here other than a few shrimp and a few tiny, tiny fish. So um, I decided to put them in here while I build their uh, future tank. Also, I had to lower the, uh, the gravel was really high and that was kind of just an experiment. And I really didn't want to lower it because, as you can see, there was um, a full Monte Carlo carpet. And I tried to siphon out the gravel or the substrate beneath it without disturbing the uh, carpet. And as you can see, that didn't fully work out. Uh, it's kind of ugly right now, but I'm hoping I can just uh, hold it down and over the next few weeks it will kind of get its roots back in because yeah it really sucks having a perfect carpet and having to screw it up but definitely had to make room for these guys because yeah they're definitely gonna need a bigger tank as for the dwarf rainbow fish the pascas they are right there decided to put them in with uh, some cardinals and my little uh, young uh, discus, blue diamonds, uh, because originally I tried to put them with full grown discus in another tank and one of them got a fin bit, uh, a large part of its fins bit off, so decided to move them over here. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe. Got Sylvester here licking the ground for some reason. He's on some medication, so I don't know what he's doing. Buddy, that's the ground.